there's a lot of fees involved in getting involved in a construction loan. And from your perspective, and I'm not asking you to speak on behalf of First Source, but from your perspective, uh, maybe you could give a list of the fees that you typically see uh, that come up, whether it's commitment fees, I'll sort of let, let you list it, but tell me what you typically see, because I want to make sure we're not an outlier uh, and I want to make sure we're sort of at market. The larger fees that everybody should be at least planning for is, is going to be the commitment fee and the broker fee. So I think those are fees that you know you 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 generally can't get away with on on, on quite a lot of projects. Um, uh, maybe maybe they've got the relationships with with you, the lender already. So then maybe you don't need the broker fee. But but in most cases, developers are needing to get a broker and a, fun, a finance broker. That that is. Um, when it comes to commitment fee, that would be the biggest. Um, there are the loan renewal fees, the um, draw fees, um, the standby fees in some cases where you know, the undrawn amount is a percentage per annum uh, charged on the undrawn amount. Um, but I would say the largest is the commitment and broker fee. The others all end up adding to very small, oh, well, far smaller amounts, but, but at the same time, they're quite common. So um, standby fee is an interesting one because when we do a performer, depending on the, the type of project, we may just assume that standby fees are in there as well. Um, but, but generally, uh, a commitment broker and then miscellaneous little ones. Um, annual annual renewal is sometimes one of the things, an extension fee. We assume the project is going to be paid out in the timeline of the, the loan. So we typically don't allow for extension fees, but that's something obviously that you need to plan for if your project is longer than what your loan is going to be.